everyone's Jekyll Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Last episode, we were on the Age of Storage and we did the Long Live and Processor. Uh, to do that, we had to do the Breaking Bad, which to obtain a Fluix Crystal, uh, and then the Silicon Valley, the That's Illogical, the Under Pressure, and the Nerd, which was all the different uh, presses uh, for the uh, Inscriber. Uh, all of that was necessary for us to get that Logic Processor. Uh, this episode, we're going to continue along on our uh, ME Storage journey. Uh, we're going to do the Accepting your true power, which is to obtain an energy acceptor. We're going to do the my cell, which is to craft an applied energistics to energy cell. Uh, we're going to do the Windows ME, which is to obtain a ME terminal. Uh, the Bay Bay, you can drive my car, which is to obtain a drive bay. And then Pocketbook, which is to obtain a 1K storage cell. Uh, and that will finish off all the advancements uh, on this page for the, uh, you know, ME storage system. As well, it will finish off our age of storage uh, tab, which is pretty good. We have gotten a couple of these full now uh, and we're slowly getting through all of them. We're getting harder and harder as we go along, but uh, that is absolutely uh, perfect. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and craft ourselves an energy acceptor. Uh, to start that, we are first going to need to make ourselves some quartz glass. This is something we're going to use quite a bit of uh, in this episode. So to make quartz glass, we're going to need five pieces of crushed quartz and four pieces of glass. That gets us four quartz glass each. Uh, we are also going to need some more of those Fluix crystals. So like we did last episode, uh, I'm just going to use the metallurgic infuser, but you can also use like an alloy smelter and stuff like that as well. But it is one piece of redstone to one mineral chunk uh, that is going to get us a Fluix crystal. There you go. So we're going to take that Fluix crystal in the center of a crafting table, four pieces of iron and four pieces of quartz glass. That gets us our energy acceptor, which is absolutely perfect. That is our first advancement of the day. Uh, this is what this is basically the controller for the ME storage system. Even though it says you do not need a controller, there are no channels. Uh, this is what, you know, what that, uh, you know, thing does. Uh, next up, we're going to work on the my cell, which is to craft the uh, energy cell. This is sort of like backup power for your system where if uh, suddenly your system runs out or crashes or something like that, uh, you'll have a little bit of power, uh, you know, so you can actually get at the stuff in your system before, before, you know, that power runs up as well. So this is sort of like emergency backup power. Uh, to do that, we are going to need to make ourselves some pure quartz crystals. Uh, we are going to grow those from nether quartz seeds. Now, uh, to make nether quartz seeds, it is a piece of crushed quartz and a piece of sand uh, in a crafting table gets you two nether quartz seeds. Now we could grow these in our world by throwing them in like a solid block of water. Um, and it does take a little bit of time. Uh, alternately what we can do, and I've kind of got it hidden here behind our inscriber, but we can go to our enrichment chamber. We can actually throw these in here and very, very quickly, this is not upgraded at all. I've got no upgrades in here, uh, but very, very quickly is going to turn these uh, nether quartz seeds uh, into pure nether quartz crystals. Now uh, this is uh, something else we're going to need uh, quite a few of uh, this episode, but they are, you know, fairly uh, cheap to make. So that is not a problem. And there you go. So there is our two pure nether quartz crystals. We're going to need four of those for that power cell. We are also going to need four pieces of Fluix dust. Uh, we did this last episode, but if you take a Fluix crystal uh, and run it, say, through a manufactory, um, again, fairly quickly, this one isn't upgraded either, but there you go. There is our piece of Fluix dust. So again, uh, four Fluix dust, four pure nether quartz crystals, and one piece of quartz glass gets us an energy cell. There you go. That is perfect. That was our advancement. My cell. Now, while we're at it, it is not that difficult difficult to upgrade this uh, up right now. If we go into our uh, little crafting area here, we go type in cell. Uh, we can see there's our energy cell at zero. This is the one we can craft. A full energy cell uh, carries a 200,000. AE at 100%. Uh, we can upgrade that to a dense energy cell. Uh, that's going to get us 1,600,000 uh, AE. So basically eight times uh, the amount of this uh, energy cell, which makes sense because we are actually going to need eight of these. So what I've done is I've gone and pre-made a bunch over here. I've got seven more in a crafting table. We're going to go grab those. There is our eight energy cells total. 
We are going to need a calculation processor though. Uh, to make a calculation processor, we are first going to need a inscriber calculation press uh, and a piece of pure nether quartz crystal. We're going to come over to our inscriber. We're going to throw the inscriber uh, calculation press up in the top and then the pure nether quartz crystal in the middle. And very quickly, we can actually watch the process on the outside. Uh, it will go and press ourselves into a printed calculation circuit. Now, the other thing we are going to need is we're going to need a silicon uh, circuit as well. We've done this one before, but you know, just as a recap, I'm going to take a piece of crushed nether quartz uh, into a furnace. We'll get us uh, some silicon. Um, we will need a bunch of this as well. Uh, most of these components, we're going to need quite a few of this episode. So I've done, you know, I've pre-done quite a few of these already, uh, but there you go. There is our piece of silicon. Uh, we're going to need the inscriber silicon press to do that. And while I'm at it, I'm going to grab that piece of redstone. The furnace was just there to remind me that I had to go and cook that into the furnace. Uh, we're going to come back over to the inscriber. We're going to put the silicon press in the top and the piece of silicon in the middle. And again, we can kind of watch the process either inside or outside. Uh, you may have noticed I've got three hoppers here. I was doing a bunch of pre stuff because uh, again, we're going to go and have to build a lot of these uh, circuits in that. Uh, anything going into the top is going to go into the top slot. Anything going into the side goes into the middle slot. Anything going into the bottom uh, goes into the bottom slot that you know totally totally makes sense uh, so I just used some hoppers because I wasn't doing anything super complicated uh, but there is the printed silicon uh, we're going to take that out we're going to take the printed uh, calculation circuit the printed silicon circuit and then that piece of redstone in the middle and if we watch here we can see it make that calculation uh, processor and there we go so that was nice and quick uh, we're going to take that calculation processor we're going to put it in a crafting table and surround it by the eight energy cells. And there you go. We now have a dense energy cell. This is not an advancement, but like I said, it's not super, super difficult to get uh, up to this level. This is the highest uh, cell that you can get outside of like a creative energy cell, uh, which, you know, you can't actually make in survival. So we've got a dense energy cell. Uh, next up, what we're going to have to do is make ourselves an ME terminal. Uh, to make an ME terminal, we are first going to need an illuminated panel. Uh, to make that is going to be three pieces of quartz glass, two pieces of glowstone dust, a redstone, and a piece of iron. That ends up getting us three of those. We only need one. Another thing that we are going to need is going to be a formation core. To make a formation core, it is going to be a piece of crystallized mineral chunk, a piece of fluix dust, and a logic processor. We've built those before previously, so I'm not going to get into it uh, for this episode, but that gets us two formation cores. Uh, as well, we're going to need an annihilation core. That is going to be a piece of nether quartz, a piece of fluix dust, and that logic processor again. We're going to go and take a, another logic processor, one of the illuminated panels, uh, one of the formation cores and one of the annihilation cores in a crafting table. doesn't matter what order you've got them in. That's going to get us our ME terminal, which is absolutely perfect. And then there you go. That is our uh, third advancement of the episode. We got two left. It's going to be the bay bay. You can drive my car and then the pocketbook. Uh, so to make a drive bay, we're going to have to go and print ourselves a engineering processor. To do that, we're going to need the inscriber engineering press a diamond and then again we're gonna need a piece of redstone and that printed silicon that we've already done once already so we'll come back over to our inscriber the an engineer press uh, up in the top the diamond in the middle and again very very quickly we're gonna go and get ourselves a uh, engineering uh, circuit we're gonna take the engineering circuit up at the top the sil uh, the printed silicon circuit down at the bottom and the piece of redstone in the middle and very very shortly here we are gonna go and get ourselves a engineering processor. We are actually going to need two of those engineering processors, but first, uh, the other thing we're going to make ourselves is some Fluix cable. Uh, to make Fluix cable, we're going to have to start with quartz fiber. Uh, quartz fiber is three pieces of crushed quartz and six pieces of glass gets us quartz fiber. We're going to take one of those quartz fibers in a crafting table with two Fluix crystals, gets us a four ME glass cable Fluix. Now we're going to need two of these uh, glass cables in a crafting table with two of the energy processors and four iron ingots. That gets us our ME drive, uh, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, now we need the actual uh, hard drives to go into the ME drive. So you can see we've got the advancement there, baby, you can drive my car. Uh, 
To make a 1K storage drive, uh, we are going to need to make a 1K ME storage component first. Uh, to do that, it is a logic processor, four pieces of redstone, four Fluix crystals, gets us one 1K ME storage component. Uh, now, the next step, we can do it one of two ways. We can take the 1KE uh, storage component, put it into the middle of a three iron ingots, a three redstone, and two quartz glass. That will get us our 1KME storage cell. Uh, alternately, we could actually just, you know, use the three iron ingots, the three redstone, and the two quartz glass. That gets us a ME storage housing. We could take the storage housing and we could take the uh, storage component, put those together, and then make our drive that way. Doesn't really make a difference um but you know it, it's uh it's totally up to you how you do it uh and there you go so we have got our advancement pocketbook and we have got our advancement you win uh because we have completed 35 out of 35 of the age of storage uh advancements in sky factory 4 uh what we've got left is 1k of me storage is not a whole lot uh we can actually upgrade uh to a 64k storage um drive uh to do that we are going to need a, a bunch of these 1k me storage components so uh this is one of those layered ones where we kind of upgrade to upgrade to upgrade to upgrade to make ourselves a 64k storage we're first going to need 27 of these 1k me storage components so 27 logic uh, processors uh f you know f uh, 27 times 4 Fluix Crystals, 27 times 4 Redstone gets us 27 of these ME storage components. And I've got our little crafting area up here now. So what we want to do is we want to upgrade these 1K ME storage components to 4K ME storage components. Uh, basically what that is going to do is it's going to require three of the 1K ME storage components, uh, four pieces of Redstone, one Quartz Glass, and one Calculation Processor. We made those a little bit earlier. Uh, the 27 that I made previously are now down to nine. So we're going to go shift click there. We've now got nine 4K ME storage components. We can upgrade these now to 16 ME storage components uh, by basically going and uh, taking three of the 4K ME storage uh, components, one quartz glass, one calculation processor, and four glowstone dust gets us a 16K ME storage component. Uh, we are now down to three, because again, that's taking, uh, you know, from the nine, and so we're now gonna have three of these 16 ME storage components. Uh, next step is to go up to the 64K ME storage component. Uh, to do that, it is gonna be three of the 16 MEs, uh, one quartz glass, one calculation processor and four glowstone dust. Last but not least, we're going to go and click on that 64K ME storage cell. And basically, just like we did before, we're going to go and I am missing iron. Uh, we're going to go grab a little bit of iron out of my uh, storage system here. And we're going to go one, two, three. And actually, we could probably do this right here. We go cell and 64K ME cell. I'm going to click that. So the three iron ingots, three redstone, two quartz glass, and that 64K ME storage component, we now have a 64K uh, ME storage cell. So that's basically 65,000 uh, items uh, in that uh, storage unit, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, that is a quite a, quite a bit. So next up, what we're going to do just to finish off this episode is we're going to set up a very, very simple ME storage system. Uh, th there are a lot of really cool things you can do with that. We're not going to get to them in this episode. We're going to just stick with the basic one with the basic components that uh, we made for the advancement. So let's go and place down our energy acceptor. This is what's going to take power into our system. We're going to just go right click right next to it and we're going to place down that dense energy cell. So as soon as I start powering up the system, this is going to start, you know, building up a, a buffer uh, of energy that if it is ever, you know, disconnected, it will, you know, have energy to feed into the system uh, while you go and, you know, correct all of your stuff. Uh, let's take our drive, you know, let's just go throw the drive on top. Uh, and then we're going to go throw in the 1K ME storage cell and the 64 ME storage cell. We come out, you'll notice that there are no lights on. Uh, that is because there's no power in the system. This is telling me that the system is basically 
completely unpowered. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our uh, storage system here. And I have a GPS. I got a couple of these just sort of floating around that I haven't um, used yet. So we're going to go and oh, before I fall into the void, let's throw on the glitch armor so I can fly. We're going to come. Oh. Before I do any of that, we're going to go and we're going to prime the uh, GPS marker. So shift right click to our uh, energy acceptor. We're going to come over here and we'll put it into this one for the moment. We'll put it off to the side because I am probably going to end up moving this. Uh, and it is pointing the laser right at it. That's showing where the power is going. Uh, so you now see there are some lights up on our ME drive. So this is now powered. Uh, what we need to do is we need to place this ME terminal. Um, there are a bunch of different terminals that you could use to do some really, really cool stuff. But uh, for the moment, what we're going to do is we're just going to use the simple ME terminal. We're going to go place a uh, one of these Fluix glass cables, and then we're going to put the terminal on top of it. Uh, you could use these cables to sort of connect different things uh, into your system. But uh, there you go. We can now enter our terminal. And there are a couple of options in here. One is you can kind of expand your storage. You can shrink it down. I'm going to keep it small for now because I don't have a whole lot of stuff. But again, I can go throw stuff into our storage. Uh, I could actually, even if I had multiple of these, I could come take this stuff out. You can see there are 69 of 1000 uh, bits used. I can pull that out. You can come down here and it's no longer part of our system I can come back I can go throw it back into the drive and there you go it is actually all part of our system now and there are a lot of really really cool things you can do with this uh, again I'm not going to get into it for now but uh, I think that's going to be it for this one guys hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, let me know in the comments below if you did any of these things any differently uh, than I did uh, also let me know all the cool things uh, that you know you can do with those ME systems I know that there are a lot but uh, I we probably won't uh, get to them for quite a while in uh, in the series. But if you enjoyed this episode, uh, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stop by to say hi. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content and you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks for all of my supporters. Uh, but that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.